Got a cardi on me popping when I shoot, I never miss. She gon' ask if I'm in love, I never lie, plead the fifth. Only want me cause I'm icy and I'm pricey with the fifth. Okay, it is time. This video has been longly suggested in the comments i've seen it multiple times do a sacramento kings rebuild a sacramento kings rebuild will be fire um the kings need a gm like you i'm here for it i'm here for it the sacramento kings have made some questionable to say the least decisions in the last few months at the nba trade deadline they traded tyrese halliburton for demontis sabonis um and now do i think sabonis is a bad player no but i think the kings are trying to they're trying to put their team into win now mode too early when their roster is not ready the roster is not ready i like sabonis i like the the pairing of sabonis and darren fox harrison barnes is a good piece as well they got my boy dante divincenzo from the bucks um but i don't think that their team is in win now mode like they like the front office might think it is i don't think they're as close to a chip as their front office really believes they are so even though sabonis is an all-star and he might be the guy we're going to keep in this episode um the goal is to win a championship obviously we want to win a championship as quick as possible we're rebuilding the sacramento kings but i'm just trying to figure out if i want to keep it super realistic or if i just want to um make it a ton of fun so we're going to keep in mind that the 2022 draft class is in effect so this 2022 pick could be worth a lot now i want to see what the actual trade value is of this first first round 2022 draft pick because obviously the kings aren't the greatest team in the world um two and a half stars is definitely not bad we could get a solid role player just straight up for the pick that mile miles bridges trade is low-key a w but we're gonna pass on that because i know i could package this pick plus maybe like deer and fox and we could get a really good contributing superstar and now before i before i get in anything crazy it's a it's a tradition we got the synergy kombucha on deck trilogy flavor um all right i'm ready to start making some trades first uh, order of business jeremy lamb and rashawn holmes i don't like either of their contracts they're both on 10 million dollar deals even though jeremy lamb is on a one-year deal i don't like the contract and since he has some sort of value he's not really a dead asset um we're gonna try to get rid of that as quick as possible and as much as i like harrison barnes and his production this season i know he's been having a great season over in sacramento he's been absolutely balling out this season i want to see i want to look up his his uh stats real quick yeah he's putting up really good numbers this year 16 points per game 39 percent from 350 percent from the field he's playing really well uh in sacramento this season but his contract is ridiculous um so he could be a guy that's on the block obviously i would like to keep the core of sabonis and fox together but if we're going to win a championship and we're trying to be in win now mode it might not be the best option but if we're going to try to win a few years down the line darren fox and sabonis definitely can be that duo all right so first season um i th i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to hop on the king's timeline right now i'm going to hop on the timeline they're on right now we're not in win now mode um Sabonis 25 years old he's not in his prime yet De'Aaron Fox 23 they're going to be a young duo that can come up in this league Terrence Davis is going to be a pretty solid role player uh DiVincenzo has potential to be a good solid contributing role player they have a lot of young assets Davion Mitchell we can't forget about the man himself off night um I think the Kings are a young squad with a ton of potential especially in the young duo of Sabonis and Fox. Um, so I think I'm going to ride out with this roster for this season. We have the 2022 first rounder. Um, so if we are really bad, we can pick up a contributing player like Chet Holmgren, Paolo Banchero, uh, Jalen Duran, Jalen Green, guys like, not Jalen Green, I'm stupid, Jaden Hardy, sorry, um, got, or a guy like that in the, in the draft. Or we can trade the pick for another contributing player. So we're going to send the season. See you guys in the offseason. Or the playoffs i guess all right so uh we are currently the seventh seed in the western conference and i think if we're going to try to win games we're going to go all out on winning so i'm going to trade harrison barnes and his 20 million dollar contract for miles bridges plus obviously three second round picks uh for miles bridges it's a one-year deal we shed a ton of cap space um harrison barnes makes 20 million dollars a year he's he's been absolutely hooping so i can't really hate on harrison barnes he's been hooping a lot for us putting up great phenomenal numbers um i guess he's down to 12 points per game on bad efficiency but miles bridges okay he's not doing much better but 2k loves the overalls so we're gonna make miles bridges our starting three and worst case scenario if we we're not gonna win at all obviously but if he's he's done after this season if he absolutely balls out we can bring him back we get his bird rights with this trade if he doesn't he's out of here and he only makes five million dollars so we're shedding that harrison barnes contract that's 20 million so if you care even though these postseason awards really don't affect us that much uh luca <laughs> absolutely balled out 37 12 8 and a steal and a half in a block 
delicious numbers from uh, Luca. Cade Cunningham, Rookie of the Year. Tyler Hero, Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis DPOY, Tyrese Maxey, Most Improved. And then Quinn Snyder, Coach of the Year. And whoever that is gets Executive of the Year now. We are a play-in team which I guess is cool. I don't expect us to get too far. We make the eighth seed against the Jazz. I don't expect us to get too far in the playoffs. Can we win a game? We win a game. We win a game. That's a W. We won a game in a playoff series. That's a W. Now is my favorite time of the rebuilds is the first season off season. Okay, so now we have a decision to make with our first round pick. It's not a lottery pick since we made the play in. So we have a out of lottery first round pick that we can do whatever we want or i mean i guess we could draft with it obviously we could draft with it but we have some young budding stars here um not really young budding stars but there's a contract i want to get rid of which much love to rashawn holmes but 11 million dollars man 11 million that's hard that's hard to pay someone i can't unless he's like a contributing starter which he's not I can't justify paying him $11 million, but no one's giving me a better offer. I'm not getting a better offer from anyone. Um, I would like to make a splash in free agency, even though we do have two max players in De'Aaron Fox and uh, DeMontis Sabonis. So maybe, maybe Draymond Green. Or we could just take a draft pick. We could just pick a player. I think I'm going to pick someone. As much as I like Draymond Green, as much as I'd like to have him on the team, I don't think he really fits the mold of what we're trying to do here in Sacramento. So... I'm also going to throw this out. We're going to try to trade up because there are a few guys in this draft class I got my eyes on. I don't think we can get all the way up to one. Um, maybe we can get to five from Orlando. It's going to be a stretch. It really is going to be a long shot. We'll throw three first round picks in. Um, they don't like that trade. What if we threw in Sean Holmes? Bro, they are capped. How are the magic capped? You guys aren't good. Who are you paying? What a, let's throw in, okay, we can't trade him apparently because uh, his contract's expired. Um, Alex Len, we'll throw you Alex Len. Ooh. Okay. We did some stuff. Chet Holmgren, one to the Hornets. Okay, him and LaMelo always ball out, so that's scary. Jabari Smith Jr. to the Spurs. Okay, I don't really know who I want to take at five. Uh, Paolo Banchero to the Rockets. He was someone I had my eyes on. Um, the Thunder take Jaden Ivey. Okay. Jaden Hardy still on the board and Jalen Duran are still on the board and Johnny Davis is still on the board. So those are three guys off top that I know I could take. Um, I don't know if I am going to get, to get any good trade offers for the fifth pick. Uh, fifth pick and Rashawn Holmes. See if I can get rid of that $11 million. If not, we'll hold on to Rashawn. Ooh, Paul George is nice, but he doesn't fit our timeline. Clint Capella. Ooh. 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 See, there's Paul George. Oh. Now, that's a good one right there. Now, that's a good one right there. Dude, who's on the board? Who's on the board? Do I want Rudy? Or do I want to see? Or who's, who's on the board? Keegan Murray's on the board. Johnny Davis is the guy I've had my eyes on. Or do I go for the Rudy Gobert trade? I'm a little biased because I like Johnny Davis because he's out of Wisconsin. Um, Johnny Davis is an absolute hooper. Nikola Jovic, if you're a fan of the Outlaw series, you've seen we drafted Jovic. Ty Ty Washington is solid. We've had him in rebuilds before. Uh, I could just go Dyson Daniels, take my boy. Uh, there's also Jaden Hardy, Jalen Duran, which they're, they're really low. Uh, Dyson Daniels is a big one. I like Dyson Daniels. He's absolutely hooping in the Outlaw series right now. If you haven't watched that, I mean, go watch it. Um, as much as I want to pick up Rudy Gobert. We're going to go Johnny Davis. He he more fits the timeline that we're on. We have two young budding stars in De'Aaron Fox and Sabonis. Now we pick up a third young budding uh, player. I don't, I'm not going to call Johnny Davis a star just yet, even though he is out of Wisconsin. I do like Johnny Davis a lot. Johnny Davis playing next to De'Aaron Fox is going to be a W. I just want to see what is his potential, A-plus potential. Okay. And y'all already know we're picking up Johnny Davis on the rookie deal. Now, we don't have a ton of money to play around with in free agency. We're going to let Javazi Metu walk. Uh, qualifying offers, we're going to throw it at Tay. We're going to throw it at Miles Bridges. And we're going to throw it at Nimis. I'm sorry. I don't know how to say his name. I'm not going to butcher his name. Um, Miles Bridges, good to know that he is restricted. VOs in free agency. Pat Connaughton could be a really good role player for us. DiVincenzo's uh, restricted, so we're going to not offer him a contract. Um, Miles Bridges is also restricted. That's a W. We're going to bring back Miles Bridges. Um, who do I want? Montrez Harrell is affordable. Montrez Harrell is affordable. We have that. We have 17 million to play around with. Let me make sure I can actually do that. Yeah, Jeremy Lamb is going to be walking. 
That's assuming Tay's walk in, but we have his bird rights. We also have Miles Bridges' bird rights, so I'm not too concerned about them going. Um, we're going to renounce the rights on Harrison Barnes' trade exception. Um, do I go? I'm going Trez. I'm going Trez. I think I can trade Trez, worst case scenario. Um, I, I'm going to throw a contract at Anthony Simons, even though he's restricted. There's not a high chance we'll get him. There's really like a 5% chance we get him, but we're going to throw a contract at him anyway. And then Tyus Jones. Tyus Jones could be a nice backup PG for us. Um, and then I'm obviously going to throw a contract at Pat Connaughton because he's absolutely hooping in real life, even though we just um, fractured his wrist before his injury, he was hooping. So um, if I can get... Ooh, hold on. We'll give up on Anthony Simons. If I can get these three, I will be happy. Oh, okay. And then Miles Bridges, we have his... We gave him the qualifying offer. Oh, he's unrestricted now. Okay, bye-bye, Miles Bridges. Bye-bye, Miles Bridges. Um, I don't know where Dante re-signed to, but I don't care. Because as much as I like Dante as a Bucks fan, he's not on the Bucks anymore. So... I don't really care that much anymore. All right, so this is the roster coming into season two. De'Aaron Fox is up to an 87, so him and Sabonis are really progressing well. Um, Johnny Davis, where is he at? Johnny Davis is starting next to De'Aaron Fox, so a backcourt of De'Aaron Fox and Johnny Davis. Chef's kiss right there. Um, we're going to be looking for a starting caliber four. Uh, as much as I like Rashawn Holmes, Trez kind of took his spot for a little bit more money, but trez produces more and he is a year younger so we're going to move on from Rashawn holmes davion mitchell progressed up to an 80 from a 76 or 77 which is a w pat Connaughton, glad we got him to come off the bench uh terrence davis is progressing as well he's up to a 78 um johnny davis he's a 77 but he is going to be good as you can see a plus potential we're going to make sure he gets his touches but we're going to reshape the roster a little bit hopefully we can pick up a few starters off of the Rashawn holmes trade maybe we can get a few starters we'll throw in a couple picks because we plan to be pretty damn good on uh, the next season. So there's Clint Capella. The Clint Capella trades a W. There's also a Yurt trade right there. Um, as a Bucks fan, I don't really care about Yurt. There's D Rose. Um, a backup one would be cool, I guess. If we, damn, if we brought in D Rose, but we're not really looking for a backup one. Dort. I like Dort a lot. I like Dort a lot. He can start at the three. Um, he can start at the three, and then we still don't have a starting four. Um, but Dort on the one-year deal, he's really young. He can be a he can form into a solid role player. Love to see it. We'll take that. We'll take Dort. He's going to start at the three. That makes a starting five of De'Aaron Fox, Johnny Davis, Dort, uh, Ch Chemezi Metu, and then Sabonis with Harold, Davion Mitchell, Connaughton, Terrence Davis, Kenrich Williams, and Mo Harkless off the bench. We are no doubt one of the deepest teams in the league. Um, but in terms of star power, we're not there just yet, but our team is still young. Sabonis is 26. Johnny Davis is 21. De'Aaron Fox is 24. Um, and then Lou Dort is 23. And then Davion Mitchell is also, I believe in his early twenties. Davion Mitchell is, where's he at? Where's he at? He's 24. Yes. Okay. So we have an extremely young core. Um, but I, and I think we're only going to get better, obviously. So we're going to, we're going to sim. Um, I'm actually before I sim, before I sim, my bad. I'm going to, I'm going to test the waters with Trez in two seconds. As a rebuilder, I see a lot of other rebuilders on YouTube. Um, they like to hold on to their draft picks. But me, it's like if I see a trade that makes us better, I'm I don't care about second rounders. I will instantly get up, give up those picks. Um it might be in our best interest to hold on to Trez just for this season at least. He's on a three-year deal. We can flip him next season. He I think it'll be smart to hold on to Trez. Even though we can get a guy like Io, but we have Davion Mitchell. Um, even though Io could run the backup too, he is hooping. 12.4 points per game. He is hooping, hooping. What is his potential stat, 2K? Tell me his potential stat. He has a potential. And we get Brooke Lopez to run the backup five. I think I take this trade. We bring in young talent in Io. We bring in Io to run the backup two. Davion Mitchell's going to run the one. We're going to make sure Io is a two guard and not a one. As much as I love the thought of Io running the running the backup offense, he's going to be running the two for us, which is a W. He is 6'4", so he's about point guard height, but he's going to run the two because Davion Mitchell running the two is even worse, six foot tall. Connaughton will still get minutes. Dort will still get minutes. Um, we still don't. And then Brooke Lopez is going to be our backup five. So I, lo I love that. I love that lineup for us. We're going to be going 10 deep throughout the season with Brooke Lopez being our 10th man. And then we are going to do first scoring option De'Aaron, second scoring option Sabonis, and then third Johnny Davis. And then we're going to go play through star. All right. If you care again about postseason awards, Luca goes back to back with MVPs. Jabari Smith wins him rookie of the year. Drummond sixth man of the year who we could have picked up in free agency, but it's okay. John Isaac DPOY, Claxton most improved player, and then these two guys, there you go. So if you care, we are the 15th seed in the Western Conference. 
Now, we don't have our draft pick, but that's fine. Here's why. Here's why I'm not too concerned about us being the 15th seed. It's that our team isn't win now. We're not in win now mode. The only player who fits the win now mold is Sabonis. He's 27. He's just about in his prime. Now, De'Aaron Fox is 25. He's going to get better. Davion Mitchelson, 24. He's going to get better. Io's 23. He's going to get better. Lou Dortch, 24. He's going to get better. Terrence Davis is 26. He's hit about hitting his prime but johnny davis is 21 with a plus potential he's only gonna get better and here is where my hope in johnny davis lies he was our third top scorer being our fifth best player 14 points per game uh three three wow three assists per game a steal two blocks 47 percent from the field and 38 percent from three and then 81 percent from the line he's only going to get better this is his worst he's only going to get better and then we got io who's putting up 12 off the bench we got sabonis who's doing putting up 20 De'Aaron fox who's putting up 21 points per game who is 25 he's only going to get better we're only going to get better from here and that's why i'm not too concerned about us being the worst team in the league because this is our floor this is our floor and we're it's only up from here but does it hurt for us not to have our pick yes it does yes it does it hurts not ha not to have our pick could we trade into the draft possibly but we're, we'll, we'll address that later we're gonna fire alvin gentry um, we want a balanced coach which trent peterson is the guy for me if he accepts he does we get our balanced coach which is a w so io is gonna come back uh, but dort doesn't want to come and hoop for us so we have to work on the spot here and we have a little bit of money to throw around with brooke lopez's 20 million dollars coming off the books we have some cap space now there's wiggins there's bradley beal there's fred van vliet there's colin sexton now bradley beal does fit the win now mold i'm gonna throw a contract at him just throw stuff at the wall see if it sticks um, but the guy who i really have my eyes on the guy who i really have my eye on is colin sexton um i lied i lied it's not colin sexton i just said a name on screen i did want to bring dort back but he doesn't want to come back he don't love me so i'm not gonna love him we're gonna throw a contract at wiggins see if he wants to come play the three for us um and we'll also throw an offer at vooch he okay we got, we're out of offers uh beal oh Be we got beal and wiggins we got bradley beal and wiggins now beal fits the win now mold wiggins kind of does um wiggins is a hooper First time NBA All-Star. Um, IO also accepts, which is a W. But we got to go Wiggins or Beal. And I think I'm going to go Bradley. Be okay, we, we can't get either. Oh, never mind. Throw that out the window. But we get Jalen Brunson. We get Jalen Brunson, who is just going to get flipped. Uh, come, like, in a, in a few seconds. We're going to trade Jalen Brunson. But I want to see player progression to see how we are getting along here coming into season three uh johnny davis johnny davis up to an 80 aisles up to an 81 and davion mitchell's up to an 83 let's go we're gonna trade jalen jalen brunson who plays a position that we're not really looking to fill and we're gonna trade him for Keldon johnson and brandon clark two guys at two positions that we are lacking at right now brandon clark gonna play the backup five and then Keldon johnson most likely gonna start for us at the four so we get better from that trade we now have a five of De'Aaron fox io johnny davis at the three is a w io in the starting five is a w as well Keldon johnson at the four sabonis at the five with the bench of davion mitchell brandon clark pat Connaughton, chris chioza and then flacco kankar bro our bench is not as deep as it was our bench is better but it's not as deep as it was and then just to bolster the bench a little bit we're gonna make this trade for charles bassey and stanley johnson just just to get our bench just a tiny bit better and a little bit deeper than we were okay that's better. I like that a lot better. Let's start Simmon season three. All right. So we are the 10th seed once again, which we aren't the greatest team in the world. We are on the slow grind right now, slowly inching our way to the top of the Western Conference. Now, we're going to have to make a blockbuster trade this offseason. Um, we're slowly getting closer to win now mode, which means Sabonis could be on the block. The Grizzlies win a title. John Morant, big ups to John Morant. But Sabonis could be on the block. We also got to make sure we retain our core which Sabonis's contract is up we're going to bring him back and then ship him out we're going to we need to bring back Keldon Johnson we need to bring back Davion Mitchell there's a ton of guys we need to pay bird rights is going to come in huge all right so Davion Mitchell and Johnny Davis are both getting their team options now we have to bring back everybody else we're going to bring back Charles Bassey uh on the qualifying offer uh, IO as well and then the other three guys can walk that means IO is restricted which is an absolute W love to see that but we have I don't know who I need to I, I'm trying to remember who all we need to bring back 
it's a sad day in king's land we don't have enough money to bring back kelvin johnson he wanted to come back but we didn't have the money to bring him back this is who we have under contract right now it really is our core seven but not getting not being able to bring back um the man himself brent kelvin johnson who was the starting four for us is definitely tough. So Johnny Davis is now an 83, Io's an 82, and then Davion Mitchell's an 84. We're gonna be looking to win now. We're gonna be looking to win now pretty soon. Our roster as it is, is not a championship roster, but we're gonna try to fix that. All right, so I have two trades here that I am willing to risk my depth for. Zach Levine and Keldon Johnson, and then there's Tyler Hero and Bam Adebayo. Tyler Hero, who has only been getting better, put him next to De'Aaron Fox. Zach Levine, who is about at his peak, but Keldon Johnson is only going to keep getting better. I think I'm going Tyler Hero and Bam. I think I'm going Tyler Hero and Bam. We sacrifice depth. I know it. I know it. I already know y'all butchering me in the comments. We sacrificed depth. But Tyler Hero and Bam Adebayo instantly make us title contenders. Our bench isn't great, but we can fix that. I promise. Look at that. We get Cody Martin and Tristan Thompson, two guys who are going to contribute off the bench right away, already making us deeper than we were. And then Javante Green, Terrence Ferguson, and a second. Give me some more bench depth. Let's go. It's not a huge upgrade, but Aaron Holiday and Edmund Sumner, welcome to the team. Now, all of a sudden, we are a pretty deep squad. We're, we're deep enough. Ten men deep with a star-studded starting five. De'Aaron Fox, Tyler Hero, Johnny Davis, Brandon Clark, and Bam Adebayo. We could look to upgrade from Brandon Clark for the starting five. I'm not going to hold y'all. Upgrading from Brandon Clark in the starting five could be a W. Get a even better starter power forward. Um, if not, we'll rock out with uh, we'll rock out with him at the four. Alfred Sangoon. I think I'll rather rock out with Brandon Clark. While sitting at the seventh seed, I'm going to make the jump and sacrifice Bam Adebayo for Rudy Gobert just for that win now guy. Rudy Gobert is going to come in, start obviously right off the bat. We got a big three. De'Aaron Fox, Tyler Hero, Rudy Gobert, Johnny Davis progressing, Davion Mitchell and up to an 85. This is a championship roster. We're the seventh seed. I had to make a change and it was Bam Adebayo. All right, so we end as the four seed, meaning this is our first season not in the play-in tournament. We are facing the dallas mavericks in the first round we take the we got reverse swept by the mavericks okay okay reverse swept by the mavericks rudy gobert decided not to resign he wanted to test free agency as much as that hurts i'm not too concerned about looting or yes i am very concerned about losing rudy gobert let me chill even though he didn't do that much for us um Losing Rudy Gobert does definitely suck, but we are only getting better. We're getting better. This core is young. You losing Rudy isn't the end of the world. I will try to bring him back so we can trade him for a solid asset, though. Bro, I tried offering him a contract at the start of the season. He said no, but he accepts his player option. Make... Okay, 2K. Okay, 2K. We take those, but 2K, that don't make sense, bro. And then Charles Bassey Dave, and Davion Mitchell are both are restricted free agents. So with Davion Mitchell only getting better, we're going to be get, we're going to bring, bring wow we're going to be bringing Davion Mitchell back. Um, we're going to throw a contract to Terrence Davis, even though he's not on the squad anymore. And then who, Charles Bassey is the other guy who we're going to throw a deal at, and all three accept, which is dope. Then player progression: Johnny Davis is now our highest rated player at an 88, and uh, Tyler Hero still at an 89 or 88 they're both at 89 De'Aaron Fox 87 Rudy Gobert down to an 87 then Davion Mitchell up to an 85 Rudy Gobert is gonna be gone we're gonna pick up that fourth guy that fourth star and with Johnny Davis coming into his own he could be our number one option although it's not the best trade for us we're gonna bring in James Wiseman who's only gonna get better he is 24 years old he's literally only gonna get better and that forms a starting five of De'Aaron Fox Tyler Hero, Johnny Davis, Brandon Clark, and then James Wiseman, Davion Mitchell, Terrence Davis, Charles Bassey, uh, Cody Martin, Norm Powell, and then that's it off of the bench. We also could look to flip a De'Aaron Fox, even though he's just 27. He's he he he's about reached his peak. But none of these trades. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> they threw us Devin Booker. I'm taking that, bro. They threw us D-Book. I'm taking that. And you already know, D-Book is running the one. He is running our offense. D-Book, welcome 
to the Sacramento Kings, my man. And this is our new five. Devin Booker, Tyler Hero, Johnny Davis, Brandon Clark, and James Wiseman. I could look to move from Brandon Clark. He's 29. He's just about peaked. We are in win-now mode. He is our he is a role player, but we could look to get better. We're going to throw two role players plus Brandon Clark. Can we get better? We technically can with Chris Middleton. We also technically can with Julius Randle. You know what, bro? We also get Jordan Wara back in the Chris Middleton trade, who's going to bolster our bench. This Chris, this Chris Middleton trades a W. Chris Middleton will help us win now. He will help us win now. Um, Jordan Wara is going to be good for depth. Johnny Davis, I'm sorry, you are going to be running the three. And then Tyler Hero, you are starting at the two. Chris Middleton, you're going to be at the four. Jordan Wara, you're coming off the bench. That is our rotation. Starting five of Booker, Tyler Hero, Johnny Davis, Chris Middleton, James Wiseman, with a bench of Davion Mitchell, Jordan Wara, Charles Bassey, uh, Cody Martin, and then Terrence Ferguson. Let's sim. You know what, bro? Straight swap. Booker for DeJounte Murray. They're the same age. DeJounte's better. DeJounte's going to bring us defense. Give me DeJounte Murray. I'm just saying, DeJounte Murray is going to bring us defense, and that is what we need on this team. We have a horrendous defense, so we need that defensive stud in DeJounte Murray. That's a W trade. I don't care what y'all say. In the sim, DeJounte Murray is going to be phenomenal. Let's keep simming, because we're the eighth seed. We needed something to get us back on pace. Bro, I should have known the 2K sim engine hates me, bro. We're the seventh seed. I should have known. The 2K Sim Engine hates me. We make it out. We're not going to win. We're not going to beat the Pels. I should have known, bro. After the 590 overall challenge, I should have known the Sim Engine hates me. I, how did I not How did I not remember that? The 2K Sim Engine despises my existence. Tyler Hero declined his player options, which doesn't mean he's out, which doesn't mean he's gone. Um, Davion Mitchell, we got to throw him a contract, which he's unrestricted, so we should be able to bring him back. Um, Tyler Hero and then Johnny Davis are the two guys we need to re-sign. Which they both, sh we should have both of their bird rights, so we should be in good shape to bring them both back. Which all three do agree to come back. Charles Bassey's, Char Charles Bassey, we're losing out on Charles Bassey. I'd like to bring him back as well. Um, we're going to throw Charles Bassey a little contract. Um, and then... You know what, let's throw a deal at this guy. I don't know who he is, but we'll throw a deal at him. And then everyone we threw a contract at accepted, and we are all good and squared away. We'll also throw a contract at the G Leaguer here, and we'll throw another one at Dorian Finney-Smith just for the sake of depth and feeling safe uh, with the amount of depth we have. Player progression, Johnny Davis up to a 91. DeJounte is at around a 90, and then Tyler Hero stays at an 89. We're getting better. We just need to get over the hump. We just need to get over the hump and win a championship. And before y'all say anything in the comments about me making a ton of trades, team chemistry is off. So, so that has nothing to do with us losing games. Team chemistry is off. Um, I'm just convinced the 2K Sim Engine hates my existence. Devin Booker. Scotty Barnes. Ooh, we got some trades. We got some trades. James Wiseman is the one I'd like to. Sabonis is there. Let's go Middleton. Middleton's 35. He's going to be the guy I want to get rid of. Miles Bridges. Miles Bridges could play the four, and that literally fills the hole in our starting five. That is a W. Now we have a five of DeJounte, Tyler Hero, Johnny Davis, Miles Bridges, and James Wiseman with this as our bench. If This is going to be the final season. I'm saying it now. This is the final season. If we don't win it all in this season, we failed. Then system proficiency, we are going to go... We're going to go balance four stars. This is our five. If we don't win it all this season, we failed. All right. We're the three seed. The best finish we've had. Scooter Henderson wins MVP. Bronny James wins six man of the year. Giannis DPOY still, he's in the, he's at the Clippers. Um, 69 and 13. That's not our record. There's no way we had 69 wins. We're the three seed. We got the Dallas Mavericks, which if you don't know, if you don't know, beat us a few seasons back. Now, this is our team. This is the team that if we don't win a championship, end the video on the spot. No outro, no nothing. If we don't win with this team in this season right now, this, the video is over. 
no outro just gonna end the video these are the stats for the last season if you do care johnny davis i told y'all he was gonna be that guy he is that guy there's Tyler Hero, De James Wiseman, DeJounte Murray, and then Kanan Carlisle, which I'm so happy I tossed him a contract. Da Davion Mitchell turned into a great role player. Jordan Warren is a great role player. Miles Bridges starting for us. Charlie Soto, Charles Bassey. We got a championship team. If we don't win it, video over on the spot.